thank you very much and a very good afternoon to all of you. Thank you for one of the key purposes of that visit was to uh, emphasize and convey um, a very important message, which is the continuous strong commitment of the whole UN to supporting South Sudan. And we, uh, Anna and I, thought that it was important to convey that message at the time where, on the one hand, there are many challenges uh, that uh, South Sudan is uh, confronting, but then on the other hand, uh, there are many crises around the world, unfortunately. We, of course, discussed the uh, process uh, towards election as part of the implementation of the uh, RCs and how uh, the UN could continue to work with South Sudan um, in terms of accompanying South Sudan towards the holding of uh, election in the best possible conditions. We, of course, talked about the current uh, security and human challenge, humanitarian challenges in South Sudan, uh, the uh, intercommunal violence and the resulting impact on the humanitarian situation, uh, the uh, fallout from uh, the events, the situation in Sudan, with the resulting influx of returnees and refugees to South Sudan, and again with humanitarian consequences and potentially with additional security impact as well. Is it possible for there to be elections? It is. With political will and if the appropriate preparations are put in place. Why? Because this is a society which particularly needs to have the best organized election that it's possible to have. And in our encouragement of uh, completing those preparations, we've been at pains to point out we don't want uh, the political stakeholders here to implement UN conditions or UN standards or UN election. It's a South Sudan election which was uh, negotiated in the peace agreement. So all we are trying to do is to help people complete the obligations that they undertook when they signed that peace agreement. That's the important thing. It is to be South Sudan owned, but it requires the South Sudanese to step up to the plate and to now grapple with those important questions that have to be answered before elections can be, can be organized. And what is our concern? Our concern that the country mustn't allow elections to force the country back into violence.